Good morning. So I'm sitting in the parking lot of one of my favorite places. Where am I? I'm at Target. I have to go get a couple things at Target, but I was, I listen to, um, I get a text message every morning from Darren Hardy. And if you're a personal development junkie like me, you should totally sign up for his emails or his text messages. It's super awesome. But today's words particularly like special, meaningful, important, because it's all about vision, right? And so many of us it's important to figure out what your vision is. It's important to figure out what you want for your life. And he had dropped so many tr truth bombs. I'm like, I have to share them. And he was talking about how, how you see yourself is how you become. And I'm always saying that, right? Like whatever you're telling yourself in your head, it becomes true. The mantra that you continue to chew on, whether or not it's positive or negative, it's what you will become. It's who you will become. It's the things that you will grow into. And so you have to guard that. And sometimes you have to kind of fake it right? And, and just fill yourself with positivity. And that's how I started out because I used to be once upon a time, a super negative Nancy and all of this seemed like total like BS, but now I believe it and I live it and I love it. And that's why I share it with you because it's changed my life so freaking profoundly. Um, but he was talking about if you don't have vision for your life, good morning, then you're going to perish. Like, I guess it's a biblical quote without vision, people perish. And it's not about being able to see with your eyeballs. It's about seeing with your heart, and believing that your life has a purpose and believing in your own magnificence, magnificence and the fact that you can just rock it, but you have to have a vision. And if you're only going to be as great as that vision is. So if you're limiting yourself, if you're putting yourself in a cage, if you're letting yourself, letting your life be dominated by fear and what other people think of you and judgment and what ifs and shoulds, and what your parents said about you or what your friends think of you, if you let all of that dominate your vision, well, then you're going to be limited. So the ability to rock your life is completely up to you. And it can be as grand and as crazy and as huge and as life-changing as you want it to be. But you have to have a vision. You have to know what you want Stop limiting yourself and don't put those limits on your kids either. Like they will only be as amazing as you give them credit for. They will only be as completely rock starish as you believe. So use, use that power wisely. Choose your beliefs. Believe you can rock your life. Believe that you're awesome. Believe that you have a purpose. Believe that you have a calling and stop freaking letting your limits dictate that. Like rock your life. You're no freaking victim. You're a victor. So anyways, I just thought I was taking notes because it was so awesome. He was talking about how you're not limited by your current situation. Like what you're experiencing now, it doesn't define you. It's part of your story. And so you should never wish away your story, even if it's hard and uncomfortable. It's part of what's making you you. And your story, your journey, the things that happen to you, that you experience, that you grow from along the path are going to shape you into the amazing person that you're going to become, the amazing person that you're going to step into if you're not where you want to be. And someday on the other side of all the hard and the struggle and uncomfortableness and lack, you're going to be able to help other people in the exact same shoes. And so that's why I hop on here and share my little ahas with all of you because I used to be really negative and I had a lot of self-limiting beliefs and I still do. I still struggle a lot, but I know I'm the only one that's going to change my life. Nothing magical is going to happen. You can't pray and, and all of a sudden things are going to magically happen. You pray because you believe things will get better. If you're praying from an area of like fear and you're begging for things to change, I just don't think that's going to work out. However, if you go into prayer and you have an attitude of gratitude and you're grateful and you're optimistic and you know there's a purpose for your life and you know that you're set out, you have great things that you're supposed to do, if you go out if you go into that with expectation that you're going to freaking rock your life, well, then you will. The only person that puts limits on you is you. You can't blame it on society. You can't blame it on politicians. You can't blame it on anyone else because you are the ultimate driver of your own bus. It all comes down to you. So it's kind of easy, I know, from personal experience to start scapegoating right? And to like blame it on other people. But that's, that's like a victim mentality. That's just mediocre. You're better than that. So today, figure out what your vision is. If you don't know what your vision is, if you don't know what you're meant to do, if you're not sure what you want out of life, spend some time thinking about it. Dream about what you thought you would do, what you wanted when you were like 10. Imagine that, like the crazy out of this world dreams we all had, right? And 
somewhere along the way, we lose sight of that and we're like, mm, that's not realistic. That's not going to happen. I'm that that's not what's cut out for me. Well, you know what? You are the one that gets to determine that. So that's a freaking awesome, amazing, liberating thought that you can be whatever you want to be, whatever you want to be. You just have to decide that's what you want to be and you have to start leading with your gut and leading with your heart. Stop leading with your fear and actually take the action to make it happen. Because yeah, I'm not saying it's all lollipops and unicorn poop. Like you're going to have to do hard things. There's going to be sacrifice somewhere along the way, depending on what your dream and your goal and your vision is. But aren't you worth it? Isn't your best life worth it? Do you want to get to the end of your life and be like, yeah, I have a lot of regrets. No. Or do you want to get to the end of your life and be like, I was a fucking rock star and I own my life and I did what my passion and my purpose was. I left my mark and it was good. I have changed people's lives. Isn't that what you want? That's what I want. So I'm not going to live a life of fear, of mediocrity, of what ifs, of what if, what if people misinterpret it? What if people judge me? What if people don't like me? I don't care anymore. I'm going to do what is true to me. And I hope that you have the courage and the audacity to step into who you were meant to be, to who you want to become, and do that. So figure out what your vision is for your life. Stop dicking around. Life is precious. Tomorrow is not promised. Rock your life and know that you have the power to own it. You have the power to change it. It's all up to you. It's just like that Wizard of Oz quote. I don't know what that quote was about you always had the power of my dear or something like that. So anyways, those are my target reflections this morning. I'm going to go live about my whole 30 here shortly. And yeah, I woke up this morning and I was like, oh crap, I'm pregnant. <laughs> I'm not really pregnant. The vasectomy didn't fail, but I am bloated. Oh my goodness. And my body hurts. But anyways, that's okay. That's not my vision for my future. I'm envisioning myself feeling strong and lean and confident and I'm going to rock my bikini at the pool because I'm doing the work. I'm taking the action. I'm not going to let my excuses get the better of me. I'm going to do the things even when they're uncomfortable, even when they're hard, even when I don't want to. I'm going to make it happen because it's all up to me. I'm not a victim. I'm a freaking victor. And so are you. So rock your life. Make it count. <laughs>